Hey, guys, welcome back. It's time for an updated Baiyi video. And I know what you're saying, Rattle. You already have a Baiyi video. Why don't we just watch that? Well, it's a little bit outdated. Uh, it, the channel has changed a little bit. Maybe the production quality is a little bit higher. This is still going to be one take. We're going to go through. I'm going to show you the ins and outs on how to use it. You're going to want to, if you haven't created a Baiyi account, you're probably going to want to get one. This is a proxy service. So if you can't buy something in Japan, you can now because there's a lot of items a lot of things a lot of sites that are that do not ship internationally you see a lot of people that will sell this stuff on on ebay through ebay they'll buy it from japan and they'll sell it on ebay because uh there is a certain little bit of a barrier to entry i suggest everyone at least try this out if you're interested in getting any of this stuff specifically pokemon if you're into japanese pokemon and you're you're not at least shopping around a little bit on here uh i i would say you want to price stuff out both on ebay both uh, anywhere that you can anywhere you can get your hands on it uh, but typically it's going to be less expensive if you're buying straight from japan um, that's the thing, but you, there are precautions. Now, this is uh, this is very misunderstood, but you are not purchasing anything from Baiyi other than their services to purchase for you. Essentially, they're a proxy service. So, if you want something in Japan, you essentially buy it. They make that transaction happen. They receive the items at their warehouse, and then you uh, you can consolidate. You can combine your packages. We're gonna go through all of that real quick. Um, it, it takes some getting used to, but if you have questions after this and you still, you'd still really like to try it out, I would suggest coming into the happy hour chats on Saturdays, uh, in the, the voice and video chat that we do there. And, uh, if there's anything, any questions that you have now, if it comes down to like really crazy specifics about you want this crazy rare item and you want to know how to search it upside down and backwards, I might not be able to answer that necessarily. I might not know the actual best place for certain super niche items, especially if it's outside of Pokemon or anything like that. Uh, but it, it's like practice makes perfect. Take some time, play around with it. It's kind of fun to get in on there. Uh, I know maybe not last week, but the week before in the happy hour chat, I was doing some shopping on here. But regardless, now, uh, if you have it, if you don't have an account, highly suggest you at least try it out, at least have access to it in case there's something that you want, something that comes out that you want. In Japan, maybe there's maybe it's secondhand, maybe it's firsthand. We're going to show you all the different ways here how to use it. But take the link down below. It should be at the top of the description, and you will save 2,000 yen off your first purchase. I should have another code coming out soon uh, that will be 10% uh, off your first purchase. So depending on how much you plan on buying, what you plan on buying, um, one might be better than the other. It's not for shipping. It's for like the actual, it's 2,000 off an item or items, I guess. Uh, and I would suggest planning out a little bit of what you want to buy when you want to buy it. But we'll take a look at all that. So you take the link below, you create an account right here, and you'll get a coupon. Now, we do, if you type in Rattle Pokemon Buy E into the uh, the search here, uh, there's been quite a few. A lot of the, uh, the Zillions of Enemy X stuff uh, that I've purchased in the past that have shown on streams on uh, and in videos is is largely to do it was most if not all of it was purchased through by e uh, So I have familiarized myself. We have the, this original video again very similar to this one This one should be a little bit better uh, And we'll go into more specifics. We have another video here the uh, Yahoo Japan search guide I'll include all of this down below um, Pokemon trader on e4 uh, now now the new e4 uh, has a nice little guide here on what you can search for different things that you're searching for. If there's stuff outside of this, um, sometimes you can search in English uh, and it'll it'll kind of find what you're looking for. But for the most part, you're going to want to find search terms. Maybe you have your own set of search terms for specific things that you're looking for and you're going to want to save those. Uh, but I'll have a link to this stuff all down below in the description as well. Uh, but if not, I should actually get this a link and or um, copy paste the, the whole thing credit to a Pokemon trader for this uh, general search terms that you can start out with great starting point uh, and most of the stuff that you're going to be looking for here so now without further ado let's get into the my website and I guess I don't have it open but guys please be careful here you got your Yahoo Japan auction shopping Mercury we got Rakuten Rakuten Rakuma we got PayPal flea market Pay, not PayPal, pay, pay, uh, flea market, uh, not to be mistaken with PayPal. Um, you have to be very careful, very, very careful because this is not by you that you're buying from. These are, these are the separate places, your Yahoo Japans, your Mercari's and stuff. 
there, there is no way to get a refund. Short of you can put the protection plan on it. So if they send you the wrong thing or they don't send something, then yes, you are protected in that way. But if if they send you something that's counterfeit, if they send you something that re, that's resealed and be very careful, would not recommend any of these these sites here for sealed product. We'll get into how you should be ordering that sealed product. You have to be using a method that you can get a refund when you're dealing with Japanese sealed product. And I would be very hesitant to sit on any of it unless it's coming from a very, very reputable source. So uh, if you're buying it from Japan, and preferably you're getting it straight from the Pokemon Center or you're getting it straight from Amazon Japan. Not from a seller on Amazon, Amazon Japan, straight from Amazon Japan. So be careful. Yes, you're, there are honest sellers on there that don't have resealed stuff, but in, in Japanese sealed product at this point in time, very sketchy, would not advise any of these sites. Because if you do get something resealed, even if you're going to open it, you, there's no way to get your money back. I mean, there is, like, you can... We did file some stuff with law enforcement and everything else, uh, but in terms of that money, the difference in money where they are taking the... The SRs are better out of the boxes, that's... She gone. She gone. She's altogether gone. So, now, let's uh, say we want to go on Yahoo Japan auction. Uh, you do have the ability to snipe some stuff. Um, let's say we're looking for some McDonald's cards. We want the Japanese McDonald's cards. They're very sick. They didn't come out in English. Uh, as far as I'm aware, I don't think any of these artworks have come out in English. Uh, let's say that we want to we want to bid on one of these guys. So, a lot of these, the prices on them are going to be, you'll see that the number of bids zero because people are basically just pricing them for what they want to sell them for let's find something that actually has bids on it maybe there's nothing with bids on it in this uh in this category it seems like there's nothing in this category that has bids on it so let's say we want to bid on this bad boy we'll be in pretend some of them are like one yen starting price others are like okay this is buyout price so it really should it even be on yahoo japan auction probably not but uh but that's how it works so if we wanted to bid on it we would bid on it here, uh, and uh, and that's that's pretty much it. You can set a snipe bid if it was an actual auction and not just a buyout price. You can take a look at the pictures, say yeah, those are those are Pokemon cards. I like them. Um, again, you got to be careful with all the prices because you can easily uh, get caught up in a lot of this stuff. So you can go in, you can take a look at the translated. You can use Google. Google Translate uh, works pretty well these days, uh, but also just within the, the Baiyi website itself. But again, make sure the pictures are what you want. Make sure it looks like what you need. If the pictures are bad, you're gambling on how, you know, how good the condition is going to be. If there's hidden items, if it's a lot of stuff, you're gambling on what's going to be included that's not shown. All that kind of thing. So uh, all of that stuff you got to keep in mind. And again, you can easily navigate most of the time uh, with the the stuff here. Uh, it, this is going to be uh, where you're shopping when you're using Baiyi. There is going to be a little bit of a more advanced technique, I guess, or uh, sister company uh, that we can take a look at in the future. But for the most part, this is this is the ins and outs. This is how you're going to use your your, your Baiyi. So Yahoo Japan shopping, same kind of thing, but. Um, Wait, all right, so we can't buy from this store. Let's see if there's uh, somewhere else. All right, let's see here. Oh, wait, our item is sold out. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe we need a different search term here. Let's go to... Okay, let's just type in Pokemon Pack. So again, I would say use the the Japanese search terms here. Um, do not buy single Japanese booster packs. You're looking for a bad time at that point. Uh, there are sometimes you'll come across like some English and and some other stuff. Um, let's just pretend we're buying we're buying this. We want this ultimate battle mini set here of Pokemon. Um, the multi the multi pack. Uh, we can add it to shopping cart and then we can check out all at once. That kind of thing. Same thing goes with the Mercari. Uh, similar like marketplace. It's best to search them all uh, if you're looking for something um, in particular. Now, uh, up and around here we have cart. So if you got if you got stuff in your cart, you can pay for it all at once. Uh, you can I think usually you like check out with individual sellers. You do have to be very careful uh, in terms of the listings. Will have um, something to do with the fact that hey, um, let's see here, this one has it. It'll it'll say whether like. 
uh, the shipping is paid by the seller or by the buyer. If you're the buyer, you are the buyer. You're going to be the buyer on here. I don't think anyone's selling on there. Uh, you gotta, you gotta keep an eye on this. So the ship that'll be the shipping from the seller to buy. -y. Again, usually not very expensive, but something to keep in mind if you're going for if you're if you're min maxing, seeing what the best deal is. Uh, that's something that's uh, important. Damage dirty here. I find it more important that you go by the actual photos themselves. If the photos are good enough, again, at your own risk. Do what you got to do. Take a look at it. See what it comes in in terms of condition. Um, you can go to your page here, which is pretty sick. And sometimes the, the site does take a little bit uh, in order to go through your coupons here. So this is where you're going to want to apply your coupon. Um, so if you sign up with the link down below to get your 2000 yen off your first purchase, it only works for your first purchase. You can't like claim it afterwards uh, or you can't use it on an, an additional purchase. So make sure you go into the coupons. You got to activate that bad boy. Sometimes the coupons are not very relevant in here, but it's always worth checking to see if there's like maybe there's a free shipping. Maybe there's a free like cons consolidation or like package combining and stuff like that. So now. Uh, we have our orders page, so you'll see all your orders. You'll see your cart and your orders. Very, very cool. Uh, we can go to package information uh, here. So here's your coupons, uh, buy you wallet, other you know, all kinds of stuff here. Uh, but uh, most importantly here uh, is your your orders, which will it'll it'll say, hey, this is when they received your order. Um, essentially, when you place your order. They have to go in and purchase the item so that it's shipped to them. So you'll see this order completed. Sometimes if the item sells before they get to it, then it's it's not going to happen. If, it, if you place a bid or anything like that, you should be fine. Uh, if it's something that's niche, that isn't like you're fighting over it. Uh, and if it's within these areas here, usually they're pretty quick about actually completing the order. So you'll see that order completed. Uh, you'll see when this is shipped. This is shipped from the seller to you or to buy e rather this is shipped from the seller the original seller of the item to buy e to their warehouse and this is when it arrives at the warehouse now when it does arrive at the warehouse we go to package information over here um, keep in mind the coupons you have to activate them beforehand um, you got to go in and select them so uh, when we go to package information here you'll see here this is the shipping cost to yourself yes it sucks to get stuff shipped to canada uh, and I think this is through DHL. Now, before you combine your stuff, yes, it is important. Well, I mean, unless you hate money, it's important that you're combining your packages. Um, the people in the U.S. are very lucky that they don't have to pay import fees or anything like that. So keep keep the import fees in mind as well. If you're from Canada or anywhere else that has import fees and taxes, keep it in mind. DHL, absolutely the best shipping company. Um, I, I've experienced, I've, I've never had an issue with them. Um, they are very expensive and there are import fees if you're buying stuff and you're, you're bringing it into Canada. You got to keep that in, keep that in mind, keep that, take that into consideration. Uh, and I mean, there's tax on anything that you're going to be buying within the country or anyway, but most of the stuff you're not going to be able to buy, or ideally you're not going to be able to buy it for less within Canada or something like that if you're buying from outside of there. So now, let's say we only have one item here right now, uh, but let's say we got, uh, how many items do we got? Five? We would check out this box here, uh, select our boxes, our packages, and then we can go into uh, add package consolidation, uh, and that'll allow us to combine them all. So by e at the warehouse, they will take your five separate packages, package them all into one single package. Now, typically they're going to retain the, the packaging materials. So if you're buying a bunch of like individual cards or something, they're probably in, in envelopes that are packaged already. They'll take a box. They'll put all the items into the box. So I've never found it necessary to actually add package, uh, um, the protective packaging here. But if you, if you did, if it was something breakable, you might want to consider it uh, depending on what it looks like. You can ask them for a photo. You can request a photo of what the item looks like, how it was shipped, basically, and maybe you make a decision based off that. Um, but yeah, just combining them all into one shipment. Um, so you probably don't want to pay your like 3,900 yen uh, times five. If you combine them all into one package, 
Uh, you have to select what address they're going to so that it's all in one package at that point in time. Then you select your shipping method. We got some dogs barking. There might be a delivery. I will be right back. All right, false alarm. Now, the shipping, come on your stuff. Uh, make sure that everything has arrived. So you don't want to do this multiple times, um, the package consolidation. For some reason, if, if something's not there, just hold off. Just make sure, double check, make sure everything has arrived at that point. Uh, again, you can go back into your orders uh, and see if something hasn't arrived at the warehouse yet. That sort of thing. If it's coming from a different, a bunch of different places, if you got it from the auctions, if you got it from the shopping, if you got it from all over, uh, just make sure that everything's there before you want to ship. Um, and ideally, so you see you have free storage period, uh, basically a month. Uh, so within the month, if you wanted to do like a once a month order kind of thing, if you need it earlier, you can ship it earlier. But uh, it does require a little bit of planning in order to like min max the, um, the costs, the shipping the shipping costs, the you know package consolidation costs and stuff like that, uh, especially with inexpensive items when you have shipping and stuff like that, you got to be a little bit careful uh, with that end of things. Uh, if for some reason you bought something really inexpensive, it's no longer worth shipping to yourself, it's too much to ship it, whatever, uh, you can dispose of package, so that, that's an option there, so that you're not paying storage fees on something that you don't really want anymore. I mean, I've never had to do this, but I've also kind of planned, hey, I want to buy this, 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 and this. I'm going to get them all at the same time. Wait till they all arrive. Combine the packages with the uh, pack of package consolidation. And voila. So now you're going to say, Rattle, what the hell? Look at all these Look at all these, uh, these places to shop. But I want something from the Japanese Pokemon Center. And to that I say, well, you're in luck. So... Uh, my will not work for if you're if there's pre-orders or stuff like that but if something's in stock you should be able to get it shipped to yourself uh, you can go in here again you can search by keyword you can use those key terms or find out what the word is in Japanese for whatever you're looking to find uh, usually a better I, mean, I think you can you can use English search in here uh, and you can translate the page we do have uh, again we have Google just translating the page uh, we can just translate, I guess it automatically translating. Google automatically translating for us. Uh, but here it'll give you a description, a nice little description here. Uh, and no, you'll notice that we're not on the Baiyi website anymore. It doesn't have it baked in, but there is the extension that you can use. It's a little nice little add to Baiyi extension uh, that'll be up at the top of your Chrome. Uh, and you can see here we got 2200 yen. Uh, and then we just add it to our buy cart that way. Now, it, it can take them a little bit longer, I find, to, to actually process or to actually purchase these items. Uh, so doing it earlier rather than later uh, is probably a good idea on anything that might be limited or that comes out, uh, that sort of thing. So this is a great way to buy. I mean, at this point in time, with the Pokemon Center, you don't really have to, you don't have to worry. I, I shouldn't say you don't really have to. You don't have to worry about getting ripped off. I mean, if you're buying a bunch of glass stuff, maybe extra packaging is good. Yeah, again, DHL is pretty good. And then if if the Pokemon Center's packaging is decent, then by all means, uh, you know, add it if you feel like adding it. We can add the buy -E card there. You see it says add the buy -E. We're added. Um, and then we should be able to go to our cart here. Uh, and we see here we got our Pokemon Center Pikachu mug, glass mug Pikachu. Um, so again, there's lots of uh, sleeves and, and stuff like that that are exclusive to the Pokemon Center. With the sleeves, they usually sell out sleeves and play mats and stuff like that. Uh, so it's probably a good idea to, to, to buy them right away, have them shipped, um, that sort of thing. Um, now, I mean, there's TCG product as well. If you can, if you can get it on there, that's going to be uh, a very reputable spot to do so. Now, secondary option, and you can use you can use that same add to buy e extension. Uh, for anything that's uh, that's on Amazon Japan, uh, if you'd like to combine it, do anything like that. Now, uh, if you go to Amazon.co.jp and you make an account, uh, it is possible that some of the items ship internationally and they can ship them straight to you. Again, you still got to be careful with the, the import fees, depending on where you live. Uh, if you're in the, the U.S., you are very blessed and do not have to pay them on most things. I think there's like certain transactions... Like, it's got to be like 10 grand or something like that. Don't quote me on that. 
But uh, if you're buying that much, you probably know what those rules are. If you're buying that much and you're from the U.S., you probably know what those rules, regulations, and or import fees, duties, whatever you want to call them, um, whatever combination of, of those things you need to pay. Maybe it's just broker fees. I think it might be broker fees over a certain dollar value in the U.S. I shouldn't be talking on this because I'm, I'm not from the U.S. and I'm not 100% certain on that. But uh, let's say w- let's let's see what we got here. Uh, and you'll notice, holy crap, Rattle, those are some sick, nasty prices that you're showing there on screen uh, from Amazon Japan. We got 5,400 yen for a booster box. And uh, yeah, that's kind of where the price should be on this stuff. And you'll notice down below it says available by invitation. That's important because, and no, we can't just buy this, uh, but we can. Well, we're taking a little second here. Uh, if it's something that you're looking at purchasing, holy crap. All right, here we go. So we will see a bunch of different options on the side. Uh, these will be from different sellers. Their ratings, their positive, negative ratings, stuff like that. Um, so be careful with this. The ones that are showing, the one that's on here for 54, um, let's see here, close this off. The ones that's on here for 5,400 yen, uh, is available by invitation. This will be directly from, sold by, ships from Amazon Japan. Uh, and this is, this is kind of a more reliable, easier to get your money back kind of transaction because if it's coming straight from Amazon Japan or like I said if it's coming straight from the Pokemon Center Japan then you're pretty you're pretty damn safe short of the fact that the mailman uh, jacks your stuff you're probably going to be all right so if you let's say you want to buy this bad boy and you want it at this price you can't just buy it you got to request invite but you should be requesting invite if that's something that you would actually like to purchase at that price so before you go out, if you're if you're itching, you want to open some Japanese uh, Pokemon product, and hopefully the prices get back to like what they actually were, what they actually should be. This is sort of like your MSRP or like what the box should be priced at uh, at this point in time, at the time of the video. Uh, not really the case with a lot of the Japanese product. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna have to increase the print runs or what they're gonna have to do, uh, but uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I got for you guys. Again, try it out. Practice. Practice makes perfect. Um, get a little bit used to it. Make sure you're reading. You're looking at all the images. Make sure you're reading all the descriptions. Uh, if there's anything sketchy, be hesitant. Be hesitant. Do not. And again, be careful where you're buying the sealed product from, especially. Um, it's, it's a bad it's a bad scene at the moment. But uh, hopefully this helps. And if it doesn't, if there's additional questions, then do join the Discord. You can either ask in the Discord, or even better, if you'd like to uh, kind of walk through any of this stuff on a, on a Saturday in the happy hour voice and video chat, I would be very happy to, to help any any of you guys out uh, with that. Again, I might not know every single best search term for any individual thing, or some niche websites and stuff like that, uh, but uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do our best in there. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. See you in, see you in the Discord.